Hey guys, it is me, Yvonne. Welcome back to my channel. Today, it is Sunday. It's like January 7th or something. And we're going to a Bengals game. It is the Browns versus Cincinnati Bengals. The last game of the season of the 2023 football season. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me. So we are on the way. It's like 10 a.m. right now. Almost, not even. But we're on our way downtown. It's raining, which is kind of shitty and we're gonna go tailgate. So it's gonna be super fun. I wanted to bring you guys along. My friend Rachel and her boyfriend are in town. They are Cleveland fans and she lives in Chicago, so I don't really see her that much. So I'm super excited to hang out with her. Should I give her a hat? Yeah, it's pretty cold. <laughs> like a beanie? Yeah, it's it's really cold. <laughs> I'm glad I left both of my layers on because I was like, I have so many layers on right now. I have leggings, jeans, a bodysuit, a long sleeve t-shirt, and a sweatshirt. Joey was saying, oh, you're overdressed. It's gonna be like, it's not even that cold. But then we walked outside and it's freezing. So I think that I made the right decision. It's better to be warm than be freezing. Cause I'm gonna be outside for like five hours, six hours, like all day basically. So it's better to be safe than sorry. I start school tomorrow back up from break and I'm kind of nervous but I'm ready to go, but I also am sad that break is over. It was really, really nice. I had a great time, but it's time to get back to reality. You know what I mean? You gotta get back to work sooner than later, and I do feel really, really well rested, so I feel like I'm ready to get back into it, but I'm just sad. The break's over. <laughs> Are we going down with it? We are about to go into the game and we're at the tailgate and so we're gonna do a fireball shot before we go in. I'm gonna take a sip. This is my friend Rachel. I already told you guys Rachel. I've been in videos before. Yes, and I You've talked to them house. before. Uh, yes. I did a Chicago vlog uh, like a year ago, last summer. Went to Chicago visit Rachel. And so now it's like the time of the tailgate where we're walking down. We're about to go into the game. Game. Right. It's game time. I had a few drinks. Joey. Fucking mom waters. Shout out to Julie. Yeah, he died. He died. He died. He died. He died. It is my first day back in grad school, so I just had my first class of the spring semester just now, and I, oh gosh, so I took a screenshot of my schedule. This was, this screenshot was on December 27th and it's now January 8th. And so I took a screenshot and it tells me where I'm supposed to go for the class, which is Teachers College. And so I was like, okay, I'll go there. And then I went there and no one was in the classroom. And so I messaged one of my friends and I was like, we're in Teachers College, right? She was like, no, we're in this other building. And I'm like, what the heck? I literally like, took a screenshot about like a week ago or two weeks ago saying it's in a different building. So I was like so late to my class. The building that the class was in was a building that I've never been to before. So I had no idea where it was. And she kind of told me like the area that it was in, but I couldn't find it. So I had to like pull up the map of like where the uh, buildings are and the UC's campus. Ignore my face, but I just wanted to add a funny story here. My first undergrad class at Ohio University I did the same thing where I couldn't find the building and I was late, so it only made sense that I was late to my last graduate class at University of Cincinnati. Class is over. I'm gonna eat some Jimmy John's. I got the um, Turkey Tom. I'm planning to eat this and then I'm gonna go to the gym after this. I'm gonna try out Crunch Fitness because they have a free three-day pass and I'm thinking about joining Crunch. I go to a different gym in the town that I live in, but the crunch that I would go to is like closer to where my fiance lives. And there's like a ton of locations everywhere, so it just makes a little bit more sense to go to that one. So hopefully I can figure out if I can cancel my other membership in the town that I live in so I don't have to keep paying for both. But we'll see about that. I'm gonna watch YouTube and eat my Jimmy John's. Just relax because that was a really, really rough morning. <sighs> Thank you. 
Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Yesterday I kind of fell off of vlogging because after that I went to the gym and then I went home and I did a ton of computer work and I was like, this is like not interesting to show. So I just decided to save you guys the boredom of what I would be showing you. But anyway, I'm at Cycle Bar. I have a new schedule because every new season we get a new schedule because there's a ton of people that are in school that are instructors or that are teachers that are instructors so we always do three times a year we get a new schedule so i have a new cycle bar schedule so it's tuesday thursday 9 30 saturday at 11 a.m i wrote down this morning i did my little morning routine of all the songs that I have in the class. So I just make the playlist the night before and I wake up a couple hours before I teach and I listen to the playlist two times in a row and I plan the things that I'm gonna do in each song. So each song is different, has something different to offer and it's a very um, good variety class. So that's why I do that and it's kind of like my little morning routine and I love to do it, so. Right now I am getting set up my microphone and I'm gonna read all of my morning devotionals because these give me some motivation and some things to say during class. It's super duper raining outside today and I was on my way. I have to take the highway to get here. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take me on maps right now. So I like looked it up. The way that I was going, there was a huge wreck ahead of me. So luckily in the nick of time, I was able to get off into the side roads and come that way, which like I got here on time. So maybe a little couple minutes late, but if I kept going straight, I would have like got stuck in so much traffic. So thank God I saw that or else I would have been late and missed my class. Okay guys, class went super well. I didn't tell you guys this, but yesterday when I went to the Crunch Fitness, they have an entire cycle room. And so I went and I was like listening to some of the songs I'm gonna play today and I did all the choreography there. I came up with different and unique things that I did today in class. So that was really fun. I told them, I was like, you guys, we're gonna see some new stuff today. So I told them that I went to Crunch yesterday and had a little bit too much fun in their cycle room. So right now I just took a shower and I am running to go to my practicum. I wanted to do a little bit of makeup too because I always wear makeup and I'm like scared. If I don't wear makeup, it's gonna be like, oh my gosh, who is she? I still wanna look professional, you know? That's the main reason. So I'm rushing super quick. And okay, I need to like meal prep because I didn't eat anything today and now I have to go straight there. So I'm gonna go pick up a smoothie, but I need to meal prep because I cannot be spending that much money every single week. I need to make overnight oats. It's pouring rain, so I gotta make sure I don't get too wet. And I told my riders to get home safe because the accident and it's just people don't know how to drive when it rains tell your loved ones to drive safe that's my advice how does this even look okay now i just gotta put on some mascara and i'm done that was very fast i'm so happy I'm so proud of myself so i'm gonna put mascara on i'm gonna go run and get this smoothie and I'll talk to you guys later. I got like this raspberry smoothie, which I fucking love raspberries. If you don't, if you look at me, I even look like a raspberry. And I did wear this sweater yesterday, but I only wore it for like a couple hours because I went to class and then I went to the gym and changed. So I'm just like, and I'm not seeing the same people as yesterday as today. It is Thursday. I'm about to teach a cycle class and I'm about to teach my 200th and 50th class. 250, that's a big freaking number. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess, let me say. <laughs> so I, just, I just read this note that someone left me. The instructor before, have an amazing class, Yvonne, you are amazing. Anyway, come along with me to set up my microphone. So I have my mic pack. Let me grab the battery. And I got these new microphone packs. From this i got these microphone puffs from amazon but i'm pretty sure that they're too small this always happens it's so hard to find the right ones see the size difference this one's so so much smaller and i i'm gonna try to talk into it but i think it's gonna sound like muffly 
because when they're super tight, it doesn't sound right. Yeah, oh my God, I can't even get the thing in. Wow. Um, let's, I'm gonna try and I just wanna see what it sounds like, but I'm probably gonna have to return these. Jeez, I feel like this is like a two person job because I cannot get this on. Got it on. Let's see. Let's see what it sounds like, because I'm curious. Test, test, test. Hello, hello. You know what? It kind of does. Kind of sounds pretty good. Test, test, test. Hello, hello. Wait, I might use these. I might use them. Because I've been having issues with these ones falling off when I'm talking to them. Because when I talk, I have the microphone super close and my lips hit it when I speak. We each have our own mic puff, so it's fine. I do that, it's not like gross or anything, but it's just like that way people can hear me the best. I think I'm gonna try this one in this class and see how it goes. Cause like that is super annoying when that cup, when it falls off and you have to like, fuck with it and like it gets loose and I have to like shove it back in all the way, you know, so it doesn't completely fall. But yeah, so I took a break from wearing my Apple Watch. I don't know why, I just decided to because I was kind of like over wearing it. I was like, I would leave lines for my self tanner on my wrist. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna stop wearing my Apple Watch. And I did, I like, I don't know, recently I've just been wanting to wear it again because I kind of want to keep track of my steps. And it's really nice and it's convenient to like know the time because I have to start the class at a certain time. I really, really want to get one of those rings, an aura ring. I think those are pretty cool. My playlist is super good. I'm going to take some pictures for my Instagram. Um, if you guys want to follow me, it's Cyclebar Yvonne, and that's my Cyclebar Instagram. And you can also follow me on my real Instagram, which is just Yvonne Kelly with two Y's at the end. But I'm gonna take some pictures for my Instagram to post, so I have some content to give, to show the world, and to celebrate that it's my 250, which is awesome. <laughs> Okay, my class just got over it. it went so well. The new microphone sounded so good. So I'm glad that I used that. I brought a backup up there with me, but I didn't even need it because it sounded super good and it actually stayed on the microphone. When I'm like bouncing around and moving around and like everything like that, it stayed. And it did sound pretty clear. So I'm so happy about that. That was a good time. And now I have to go run and take a shower because I have to go to my internship. I have to be there by 11.30. So I'm going to take a shower really fast and get my booty on over there. And I did pack some lunch with me because last time I was, I don't know if I told you guys this, but yeah, last time I had to get a smoothie because I didn't pack my lunch. And I'm like, this can't be like an everyday thing. And I didn't even pack last night. I was gonna do overnight oats and I didn't like even think about it and I was exhausted. So I just didn't pack, but I had like a salad left over from a restaurant that I went to. And then I packed some popcorn and I'm only gonna be there probably till like one. And I had breakfast too, so I feel good. I'm not too hungry right now. Cause I had a big dinner last night. But yeah, that was so fun. I'm so happy. I was telling them my class that I remember, like I always think about like how I felt when I was a member writing and I would look up and uh, dream of being an instructor. I didn't know if I could do it. I didn't know if I had it in me to do it. Such imposter syndrome. And then I just let my courage be greater than my fear, which is kind of like the main quote that I live by in life. That's how I got there. Never let anything scare you out of living your dream, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because I, I am a prime example of why you shouldn't do that because coming here is the highlight of my day every single day. I love being here and I wouldn't have gotten here if it wasn't for not letting things scare you. Hi guys, happy Friday. I just had a dual ride with my friend Hannah at Cycle Bar. So sorry I haven't been talking to you much today. So I didn't really update you guys before the class because it was super rainy. I got here a little bit late, you know the deal. So that was awesome, so much fun. 
Ariana Grande came out with a new song today. It's called Yes And, and I am just so obsessed with it. I played this song in my class today, and I plan on playing it again tomorrow because it's that good. There's an RPM of a song, and you can either do that RPM or you can split it in half. So today, I did it in the saddle, a 120 RPM. Tomorrow, I'm gonna split the RPM in half and do a 60 RPM out of the saddle. So it's fun, you can kind of play with songs like that, whatever you think it sounds like. Is it a slow, heavy hill, or is it a fast, fast, flat in the saddle? And right now, I really wanted to go to the Apple Store because I tried to upload Final Cut Pro, and it says that I can't, and I'm pretty sure I hope it's not because my computer is too old because I tried to and it says that you need this certain M Mac OS 13 to do it and I don't have it. So I'm going to try to ask them how I can get it or like I just have questions because I really want to start using Final Cut Pro. But if I have to buy a whole new computer then I might not be able to start as soon as I wanted to. So we'll have to see about that. So this is the screen that it is showing me. Okay, so I'm on the Final Cut Pro website, and so it says that minimum system requirements, I need Mac OS 13.5 or later. And I have version 12.7.2. I don't, so I don't know, I'm trying to figure out if I can't get it, or if there's a way I can get a lesser Final Cut Pro that I don't need Mac OS 13.5. And I went to my recent software updates and I am up to date. It's not like I need a software update on my computer. It might just be my computer is pretty old. This computer, the MacBook Air 13 inch early 2015. That might be shit out of luck, but I'll keep you guys updated. I didn't end up going to the mall because I needed a, an appointment and it was pouring rain. I couldn't find a spot and I had slides on because I just came from my cycle class. So I was like, I'm just going to come back and try this again and actually get an appointment scheduled for me. Right now, I'm just home for the rest of the day and I'm gonna get a lot of work done. I have to have a, I have a meeting at 12.30. I have a few things due for school by Sunday and I have this paper that I wanna write and then make my playlist for tomorrow and then edit my YouTube video if I have time. That's a lot to do in one day so it might have to be spread throughout the weekend but I'm gonna see as, I'm gonna try to do as much as I can today so I can have a free weekend. Hey guys, I have been in this chair for the past four hours. I got so much stuff done. And right now I am going to make my playlist for tomorrow. I'm doing a dual ride with Monica, another instructor at Psycho Bar. And our theme is disco and donuts. So a disco theme, we're having donuts afterwards. And what's awesome is that I feel like Ariana's new song counts as disco. Cause I like the beat. So I'm gonna use that in my song, in my class tomorrow. What makes it nice when you have a duel is you divide your time and effort with your coworker. So it makes it a little bit easier on you, which is so much fun. And it makes, I don't have to wake up as early, let's be real, because I'm only listening to six songs instead of 12, which saves you like 15, 20 minutes. So that's awesome. I'm so proud of myself because I did something that I was really putting off for a very long time. So I'm so glad that I did that and sent it in. Let's complete this playlist and I'll get back to you in a second. Hey you guys, so I, <laughs> look at my eyeliner, Joey makes fun of me. But I was just doing something for fun. But I'm at the new, the house with Joey. This is Joey's and my home. And yeah, he's making fun of me because of my eyeliner. I tried something new. I did not make fun of her. I said it's not my cup of tea. That's all I said. Not my, not my pipe. I got this white liquid eyeliner because I was going to do something for New Year's Eve. I was going to do black eyeliner, then above it, white eyeliner. But I didn't end up doing it. And I was like on the phone, or I was like listening to something. I was packing. And I was like, I'm going to have fun. Just like do a little wing. And it kind of looks interesting. It looks funny. So we're just chilling right now. I just got over here. It's 7.20. We're gonna make dinner, watch the Barbie movie tonight because Joey recommended it, not even me. I wasn't even the one that brought it up. So yeah. Happy Saturday. Good morning, it is around 10 a.m. It is snowing, which is awesome, I'm so excited. We have a wind advisory, so be careful. Um, last night when I was sleeping, 
all I could hear was like the trees and the wind and it, the dog was barking because they thought like something was like in here or something so that was crazy but right now I'm gonna go to cycle bar I'm doing a dual ride with Monica we're doing disco and donuts so it's gonna be so much fun I have to leave like right now but I'll bring you guys along with me. Hey guys, I just taught my class. I'm sorry I didn't record at all. I'll insert some photos. It was so much fun. I love Monica. She is so amazing. She is an instructor at our sister studio. So we did a, a class together here at my studio. So next month we're gonna do one at her studio. But anyway, we just had so much fun. We found this disco light in the back room in the closet. So it was so much fun. It like made the room become like a disco room. So that was so much fun. I am on such a high right now. And I just feel like I can't have a bad day now after that because that just literally brighten my entire freaking day. I have the leftover donuts in the back, so that's gonna be amazing. And I think I'm gonna bring those to my fiance's nephews. He has a turning three-year-old nephew and then a turning one-year-old nephew. So their birthday parties are today. Their birthdays are really, really close together. So the one-year-old is January 4th and the three-year-old is January 11th. So they're doing a birthday party today on Saturday. Um, so I think I'm gonna bring the donuts there with me. My cousin just texted me, which is so sweet. She was like, I just saw your new YouTube video and I was so happy to get life updates from you. I can't wait to hear more about wedding planning and house decorating. You are crushing it. Aww. She's so sweet. See, there's no way this day can go downhill from here. Hi guys, happy Sunday. I am at Finley Market right now. So if you're in Cincinnati, you know what I'm talking about. It's just like this market that sells a ton of local Cincinnati foods and stuff like that that people like grow and sell. And it's really cool. And today they're having a chili fest. So my fiance wanted to come. So that's why we're here. We went to church this morning, um, had breakfast, you know, had a little nice little morning routine. But now we're going on in here. So yeah, come along with us for the day. Wisely. Yeah. Chili Fest 2023. You didn't hear it, he just said 2023, but does anyone else keep messing that up? Okay, so apparently they're sold out of the tickets. So what is that? That means we can't try the chili? Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> That's so stupid. Lame. Okay, so I guess we should have pre-ordered the tickets, but now we're just gonna go shopping around Finley Market. Salmon, kind of bourbon, honey. Bourbon maple? We got some zucchini and some broccoli. If you need the sea dog, I can take it to you. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah. We're on number four, so we tried three of them so far. Joey, which ones did you like? I like the second one, the third one. Okay, I liked all of them, surprisingly. The first very two surprising. ones were very She's bland, but you could really taste the grapes. They said that it wasn't aged in a barrel, so that's why it tastes more. Like I really want to become a wine connoisseur and like know what I'm talking about with wine, but I really don't. But I know that I like white wines that have an apple undertaste or whatever that means. And the first one they said was from Italy and they had what, hedgehogs there? Porcupines. Porcupines. To keep the integrity of the land. Okay. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Aren't you? They're turning red. What does it taste like? Good. I 
think I like I think I like the third one. We are picking out this one. Just because I like the bottle. And it's on sale. It's on sale. So we're gonna get it. So wine fest, I mean chili fest <laughs> did not work out, but we did end up it became going wine fest. It became wine fest. We ended up getting some wings and Joey got some ribs to make. Ooh, from and then Debbie's. And then we went to get a little wine tasting, which was so fun, and we did end we up were getting depressed. I was no, depressed. Because I was sad. And so we were like, let's just kill time. We've always been wanting to do the wine tasting here at Philly Market. We never have because I only have it on Saturdays and Sundays. And long story short, we ended up spending our time doing that, which was so fun because you got to try four wines for $10. Yeah. And they're all super good. And from that experience, I learned that I'm going to get Joey a wine class along with me for Valentine's Day or his birthday because I think it'd be so cool to learn more about wines and to understand what I'm trying and what I like, you know? Long story short, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so any last words? No, just sad about Chili Fest. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.